Okay, so we're going to calibrate our ESCs. So I got my ESC cables here. I'm going to just use it to a orange RX. But what I have different is a 4-in-1 cable that I'm going to use to calibrate my ESCs. So I'm going to plug all my ESCs up into here. And my one leads into my throttle port of my receiver. This way it will calibrate them all to the same Okay, so we got our transmitter on, our throttle is high. So what we're going to do now is plug in, and you should hear some beeps. So you heard that one beep, you want to drop throttle down. Dun dun dun, that gives us our confirmation. So our ESCs are calibrated. So we're going to unplug it. Alright, and we're just going to unhook our harness and get everything back up. Okay, so next what we want to do is we'll go ahead and reconnect our ESCs to our flight control board. So what I do is make a simple diagram to go back over it. So you have your motor layout, 1, 2, 3, and 4. So this will be your motor 1, 2, 3, and 4. And I label them. That way I can just go ahead and plug them in. It makes it super easy. For your pin layout on your flight control boards from right to left, you have your pin 1, 2, 3, and 4. So that's the way we're going to go with it. And always keep a sticky note handy. So that's your 1. Your positive is up. Ground is on bottom. This is my 2. three and four so that's how that goes typically if you're maiden your quad and it start and it flips over you usually typically means you have one of these backwards so just check your connections so to clean this up I'll just fold the wires in just a little bit. And I just got some small rubber bands. Help tidy up the wiring for now.